What's going on guys? GeoSnorrid here. So in today's video we're discussing about the status of the iOS 10.3.2 uh, jailbreak and also we're discussing about that exploit that's been released by Jan Peer of Google Project Zero and whether they can use it or not. So I got a lot of questions about this in the past couple of days. Um, especially after the Phoenix jailbreak's been released, you probably remember it created by Segusa and by Teamstar, and it's for iOS 9.3.5, one of the firmwares that, of course, did not have a jailbreak before this one has been created. So let's discuss about the iOS 10.3.2, because, of course, iOS 9.3.5 is great. It's a uh, version that everybody probably likes, because it's, you know, from the past, and it's, it's the uh, the last one to have the slide to unlock and so on, but we're we're on the um, we're on the iOS 10 era, so let's see what's going on with the iOS 10. Well, speaking about it, iOS 10.3.2 is no longer signed by Apple, and uh, it's been unsigned, I think, two days ago. So this means that if you are updating to the iOS 10.3.3 that is currently signed, you will not be able to get back to 10.3.2. So do not update to 10.3.3. Now, if you're already on 10.3.3, there is not much you can do. So um, yeah, I, I really do not know what to recommend to you. I really hope you have the blobs for the iOS 10.3.2 saved. Uh, but I have already, um, you know, said a couple times on this channel to, to downgrade when it used to be signed. Anyways, uh, MeanSpark Zeng has published a couple hours ago this um, this article in here called Triple Fetch Analysis in iOS 10.3.2. Uh, sandbox escape. Now this is based on uh, on this bug in here, on this exploit in here, that's been published by Jan Beer. We discussed about this on the channel a couple of times, so you're probably familiar with it. It's not enough to create a jailbreak on top of it, I mean it's not enough to just you know, have it and bundle Cydia with it and then jailbreak the device, but it's a good, a good start. It's basically user land and uh, Therefore, it's nowhere close to, to an actual jailbreak, to an actual complete jailbreak. But let's not forget that, um, you know, the past Yalu jailbreak, the initial Mac Portal plus Yalu, has started using a um, an exploit posted on the Google uh, Project Zero page in here, the Mac Portal. So it might be used in a future for, for something similar, or it might not, we do not know. But anyways, um, MinSpark has posted in here this thing, which is basically an analysis of the triple fetch exploit that is basically working on 10.3.2 and below. And uh, if you're interested in this, I would definitely tell you to you know go ahead and read this. And especially if you if you have some knowledge about I don't know reading a uh, reading a crash report or you know reading a little bit of assembly and so on, you can um, you can also make an idea on. Uh, whatever this exploit is doing. Of, of course, you can also watch the uh, the source code. You can take a look at the source code itself that is available here. You can um, you can download triple fetch at, um, at this page in here. You see triple fetch one megabit. You download it and you compile it in Xcode. But uh, this one, this analysis in here is pretty well made and it's in English, so definitely check it out. Now, talking about it, there is currently no jailbreak for the iOS 10.3.2 and uh, even though there is no jailbreak for it, I would definitely tell you not to update to 10.3.3 or to iOS 11 betas. Now, the iOS 11 is currently in beta 5 as far as I know and um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it has a lot of new features and it's so cool, but if you're interested in jailbreaking, I would definitely recommend it to stay on iOS 10.3.2 or log. Now, there will probably be more exploit releases. We have Adam Donenfield who said he's going to release something in August. Now, that's probably by 21, 22, 23 of August or something related. So, we still have a couple days to spare until you know, he's going to release his exploits, but by that point they're probably going to be compatible with iOS 10.3.1. Uh, so keep that in mind, if you're on 10.3.1, 10.3, 10.2.1 .1, and 10.2 and so on, do not update. Now the iOS 10.3.2 uh, jailbreak, if it ever comes, is probably the last jailbreak for the iOS 10.3.x. Now I do not personally see iOS 10.3.3 being jailbroken, especially since many of these exploits that we're talking about, uh, including this one here, have been patched in iOS 10.3.3. This uh, particular one 
is uh, is patched in 10.3.3, uh, and uh, I think Adam Donenfield's exploit doesn't work on 10.3.3, or it might work, I have no idea. But um, you should keep in mind that uh, you should stay lower than iOS 10.3.3. In fact, if you're on iOS 10.2.1 or 10.3, you are basically safe. And um, yeah, that's basically the current status of this jailbreak uh, at this point. There's no jailbreak, there are a couple exploits, the triple fetch one is not enough for jailbreak, but it's a good start. And um, uh, you can find more info about this exploit in the description down below if you want and yeah do not forget to check it out and also if you're interested in phoenix jailbreak and if you want to learn more phoenix jailbreak came completely out of blue you know from tim star and saigusa and uh yeah it, it definitely proves the fact that the uh, jailbreaking community is not dead it's just you know, slowing down a bit. Now, the iOS 9.3.5 is currently semi-untethered, but an untether has been uh, announced. Now, if it comes through, uh, we're, we're probably going to get this uh, this jailbreak to be untethered and finally bring some life to this 32-bit uh, devices. But for the 64-bit devices, iOS 9.3.5 is still not jailbroken, so you should keep that in mind. Anyways, that's basically the uh, situation as of August. If you want more information, do not forget, check out the description. I'm Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.